guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna show you how to achieve this navy blue smoky eye with a nude lip. If you wanna learn how to get this look, please keep watching and I will show you how. So first, I will be priming my skin with my Clinique Universal Primer and I will be following through with my MAC Fix Plus Spray and I'm spraying this directly onto my Real Techniques contour brush. I will be applying my CoverGirl Stay Luminous Foundation, which I just tried for the first time in this video, and I overall really like it. I think it's very lightweight, it's very wearable, and very luminous. Next, I will be taking my Better Skin Concealer by Maybelline in the color Light, and I will be putting this under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my chin, and also my forehead. I will be highlighting with this concealer. I just purchased this from the drugstore, and I overall really like it. I think it's comparable to the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, but definitely worth a buy. I really liked it. To set my concealer, I will be using my Smashbox Contour Kit, and I'm just taking the lighter shade in the palette and putting this under my eyes very lightly because you don't want this to look too powdery, but you want to definitely set it so it doesn't move. Next, I will be bronzing up my face and contouring with my Makeup Forever bronzer, and I'm not sure what these are called, I will put it in the description box, but I just purchased this about a month ago, and this bronzer is really great because it just looks like your skin it doesn't look like powder it doesn't look like cream it just looks very natural and it's one of my favorite bronzers that i've been using next i'm going to be doing some contouring of my nose and i will be using my lorac contour kit and i just purchased this as well this is a very gray toned kit and i think it's um a few of the shades are a little too gray for my liking but I like to use them to contour my nose and it also came with this amazing contour brush and I think this brush is great because it kind of does the work for you. I like to take the light shade out of this kit and put it on both sides of my nose and on the tip of my nose. I'm also going to be taking the light beige color and putting this right over the top of my nose highlighting where um, on the other side of where I contoured and I really love this brush. Um, I'm not too excited that I can't really use the kit as much as I'd like to because it is very gray, but I will be using this for my nose quite a bit. Next, I will be highlighting with my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo, and I'm just taking the gold shade and highlighting the top of my cheekbones, the tip of my nose, and also above my eyebrow just slightly. And for blush, I will be using my Too Faced, um, I think it's called the Sweethearts Blush, and this is in Peach Beach. I will be taking my Duo Fiber Real Techniques brush, and I'm just going to put this very lightly on my cheeks and kind of diffuse out the contour and the highlight. Next, I will be doing my brows with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Gel, and this is in the shade Espresso. I've been liking this eyebrow gel a lot lately. It's a lot more natural than the brows I usually do, which I like because sometimes I don't want to look as dramatic. I will also be using the Anastasia Brow Duo in Medium Brown, and this will just sharpen up my brows a little bit more, but not too dramatic. Next, I will be priming my lids with my MAC Concealer, and this is an NC20. I'm just taking my It Cosmetics brush and putting this all over my lid. Taking my Anastasia Shadow Couture World Traveler palette, I will be taking the color Soft Peach and using this as my base for my eyelid.
Taking a fluffy brush and the color Morocco from the palette, I will just be putting this in my crease and this will be my transition slash crease shade. Taking the color Azure from the palette, this is a blue, a very electric blue, but when you put it on your eyelid, it kind of looks a little bit like it has some purple in it. I'm going to be putting this all over my lid, and you just want to pack this shadow on as much as you can because it does tend to fade um, against your other shadow. So if you're going to blend, make sure that you apply this again. Um, I love this color. This is probably my favorite color from the palette. I don't usually wear blue, but I definitely will more now. Um, I think it's very beautiful. Taking the color Fudge, which is a dark brown, I'm going to be darkening up this blue smoky eye just a tad bit more, and I feel that this fudge kind of makes it look more purple, but I do think that it makes it look a lot more smoky. Taking my very own doll face brush, I will be putting this blue shade on my bottom lash line, and I'm going to be putting this on a little bit heavily, and I'm going to be taking it into my tear duct. Next, I will be applying my Maybelline Lash Discovery Mascara, and then I will be applying my false lashes, which are Coco Goddess lashes. Next, I will be filling in my waterline with my L'Oreal Smolder Eye Pencil, and this is in the color black. And lastly, I will be applying my liquid lipstick by Kat Von D, and this is in the shade Noble. Well, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below any looks you would like me to do a tutorial for. Thank you so much.